Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Is Enzo okay? Enzo's fine, he's had his up, he's getting on. I'm looking forward to seeing him. I've been a volunteer now for almost five years. Before this, I was a, an accountant, so when I retired and had a bit more free time, I thought you know, I wanted to do some volunteering and something useful. So I thought about Battersea. I've always loved animals, and it seemed a natural place to apply. My name's Susan, and I'm a Cattery Support Volunteer at Battersea Cattery in London. When I first arrive, um, I find out the members of staff I'll be working with and they will uh, tell me which cats I can look after today. Cats arrive at Battersea from all, well, all sorts of places. Um, sometimes people are moving home and they can't take a cat with them. Sometimes uh, their owner has died. So some of the cats arrive and they're quite confident animals, but some are really quite scared, frightened, traumatized even. And volunteers work together with the staff. We try and find the best environment for those particular cats. This one, Enzo, likes a lot of attention, as you can see. He's a real lap cat. So important with the cats we have at, at Battersea that we, we socialise them, and, and, but it's all about getting the cats ready for rehoming. When you get these moments when you're in, in the pen and you're stroking a, a lovely cat, it makes it all worth all the hard work worthwhile. After we've spent time socialising a cat, it's very important for us to make a few notes about what we observed while we were in with the animal. This information is useful. The rehomers refer to it when they're trying to find the perfect match for any particular cat. So it, it sort of gives them a guideline about the cat's personality and perhaps whether it would be suitable for a family with young children or older children or perhaps a more quiet home. Every cat has a health and a feeding chart. So when we're about to feed, we, we find what particular food that cat is eating. I get involved in all aspects of cat care and welfare in the cattery to help feed any job that needs doing really. Well hygiene is absolutely crucial in the cattery. Um, we have a high turnover of animals and it's important that every pen is disinfected before another cat moves in. So some elements, so they're quite hard physical work, uh, you know, in some days. We have a lot of things to, to clean. Um, but there's always a reward that you get to spend some time with some absolutely fabulous animals. Badger's a, still a young kitten, probably four or five months old. And you can see, very lively. And so it's great as a volunteer to be able to come in and play with kittens. Who wouldn't like that? Well, there's so many good things about working here. One thing are the absolutely terrific staff I get to work with. Um, they are absolute experts in animal welfare and are so happy to share their knowledge. I have learnt so much. But probably the very best thing of all is when one of the cats go home. I have to confess, it can be quite emotional. You know, you do get form attachments. I've met some amazing people. I've got new friends for life. We all have the same goal here. You know, we're all trying to do the best for the animals. And they really make the volunteers feel a key part of their team. Bye Paige, yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.